Thanks for logging on to MyFoxHurricane.com. We've got two systems that we're watching. We have Hurricane Lee. We also have Tropical Storm Margo, uh, which is uh, much further out there, and that is working its way on to, to the north and looks fairly ragged on the satellite imagery. Right now, here's the latest information. It is increasing in intensity. Winds right now, they're at 70 miles an hour. It's moving to the north at 10 miles an hour. Gonna be not gonna be a, a real big factor in anything. It's just gonna kind of work its way on towards the north. It does look like in the short term it will increase intensity a little bit more becoming a hurricane, but eventually as it works its way further to the north, models indicating the wind shear will start to become an issue and then dry air will start to be pulled into the system. That's what we call dry air entrainment, where you're pulling in that dry air kind of chokes off the system. So as we head towards the end of the week, looks like it will begin that weakening process, also starting to work its way over some cooler waters. Now, here is Hurricane Lee once again, seeing another burst of convection right near the center. You can see the eye right there, fairly small. Hurricane reconnaissance planes, They've been flying in the system pretty much nonstop. At times we have uh, two planes in the system. One of the things you're noting right now is it have, has concentric eye walls. That's where you have one eye wall inside of another one. You see this in these strong hurricanes. You start to see them contracting. So all of this is really an indication that it is going through these eye wall replacement cycles. So tells us we're going to see those fluctuations in intensity, which is not unexpected. Anytime you have very strong hurricanes, major hurricanes, they all go through these eye wall replacement cycles. So right now, winds are at 120 miles an hour. It's currently moving to the northwest at eight miles an hour. But really what we're watching for is more of that turn to the north. And that looks like that'll probably happen either tomorrow night into Wednesday, uh, staying to the west of Bermuda, but close enough that they will be dealing with some impacts and also along our coastline, we will be dealing with uh, some impacts along the US coastline just because of the large swells coming on shore and then up towards the Canadian Maritimes. Obviously, they will be watching this very closely. Now you look at the GFS and the European ensembles combined on one map and we continue to see some really good agreement as this works its way uh, just to the west of Bermuda. There you see Bermuda right there and then you start to see more of that spread. So really anywhere from uh, up across to the uh, New England states up towards Maine, up towards Halifax, uh, St. John's, all watching this very closely as we head towards the end of the week. You look at the wave heights. So right now we're seeing some of these waves spreading out along the coastline. You can see a uh, one to three foot seas, but then watch as we go through the next couple of days. As we head towards Wednesday, you're starting to see those higher numbers up to 10 foot seas uh, waves along the coastline that will continue to build across the Carolina coastline, eventually up into the northeast as the storm parallels the coastline. But since we're talking about such a strong hurricane really stirring up a lot of waves and this will become an issue, especially across the Carolina coastline down towards the Bahamas as well across the Florida coastline. Uh, we'll see some of this as well. But as you head down across South Florida because of the Bahamas, that will kind of shield uh, South Florida from dealing with the direct impacts from this hurricane. So here's another look here. Uh, you're looking at the winds with Hurricane Lee. And as we head towards the end of the week, you are seeing some of these stronger winds starting to spread along the coastline. So that will also become an issue as we head towards the end of the week and then in heading into next weekend. So we're going to continue to watch both of these systems, but obviously the more important one to focus in on is what Lee will do over the next several days. We'll keep you updated right here on myfoxhurricane.com.